Hello friends, welcome back to Auto Resource YouTube channel. You are looking with me on 2007 Jetta 2.5, which I have recently purchased from Copark with the salvage title due to the damage on this side. You can see it here, right? And obviously it's a used vehicle old also with other problems. And when I got delivered the vehicle and opened the trunk, on top of all of it, there were these three lock assemblies. I knew the driver door was opening right correctly and the passenger too, but both rear doors were stuck and couldn't have been opened either from outside or inside. Let me demonstrate. For that easy demonstration I put the windows down, right? So if you grab this handle and listen, you can hear clicking here, but it won't open. Let me demonstrate the outside handle, also the range, how far it goes. Right? So this is what's happening and no matter how much you play with the door locks which are here right so you will lock it and try to unlock it multiple times right you can hear the locks correctly working listen to that right it does its job that door is stuck and the other one was too Thanks to the fellow YouTubers, I was able to fully understand this problem, which seems to be absolutely common. And I was able already to repair that problem on my driver's side. Let me show you. So, it took me a while to figure it out correctly, but look at this. Right, this opens correctly, makes the same sounds. Right, this is correctly pulling. Let me show you also, right, it perfectly opens, I mean, trust me, I'm not making it up, both rear were stuck. If I lock it, right, it will correctly work, neither outside handle, neither inner handle, actually inner opens it, and that's correct, I apologize. The fact that inner opens it even with the lock, that's correct. And I have very good news for you, to be able to open this door finally, I just needed a little pick and I will show you how easy it is. So with a little screwdriver or little pick, you will be working right here in this area. This was already open, so let me go and show it. Or demonstrate it on the other side, which you can see it's still stuck, right? it's still the same. Now look at this situation here. And I will try my best to show you the most detail possible without getting in your way, or the camcorder, right? So either small screwdriver or the pick or whatever you want to use, you need to lift this tab this way. And that will release the cable which is attached to this handle and it will disconnect from this handle so this handle will be not working anymore look at that carefully pushed it in now look at it this handle is not working anymore the cable it's loose and I will go to the step number two so this is disconnected, right? It makes that weird sound popping. And what's the step number two? Well, I will put this tripod away. And all I have to do to grab the interior door handle and open the door. Believe it or not, it will work. I bet you it will. Oh, look at it. Look at that. This is first time since I became owner of this vehicle that this door is open. 
And that's not just a fluke or a one-time thing, right? I will demonstrate it again. So, right now, the good news, you can open the door and you have access to the areas which will help you to fix this problem. The bad news, the problem is not fixed, right? You still can get it from outside. Let's just confirm, right? I will lock this vehicle. So now I... Oh, it will open it, right? So everything works. I can unlock it again, right? I'm just showing you that it really works. Nothing perfect. So let's go together and kind of explain what is happening here. So I have all these locks. I put away the, the front and these are two rears. I can see that from this car, right? Because there is a 28 of uh, May 2007. It's a 2007, right? If I read this one, the date uh, again, oh, what is it? 260507, right? So in Europe, you put the day first, then the month, then the year. So these have to be the originals. And they will a little bit help me to show you why is it malfunctioning. This is the lever where the cable from outside the door handle is pulling on. Now look at this one. I don't know why this one was replaced. But you pull on the outside door handle and then you let go. And this handle needs to go all the way back, so-called reset. And only after that, the inner handle or the outside handle can work again. This one is from the other side. The lever will go out, but it will not reset for some reason all the way back, right? It will not do that. The whole mechanism, it's not reset for another opening and it's becoming stuck. The little wire which goes to outside handle, it's still there. It didn't break, it keeps pulling, but this part didn't return all the way correctly right it's hanging somewhere and the reset didn't happen and the door cannot be opened from inside or outside and if that gives you a little bit idea right what are you dealing with that's the explanation it's another complicated thing from germany right german engineers they have all these great ideas when it's brand new it works perfectly but when it's getting old it makes all kinds of problems and unfortunately such a repair is costly. So now you know if you had the same situation, right? There can be different reasons why you cannot open one of the doors. But this one was either inner, either outer handle wear and working. Yet we could hear the central locking system correctly working, right? So now you know how to do the first step in the repairs. I will show that repair in different video on this channel, but I would like to give you at least one hint. Don't you try to go as usually as other makers will let you repair that, which means removing door panel and accessing the locks and accessing the motor for the window and so on. Don't you try to use what you learned in the past because it won't work here. The Germans, right, from the audience Volkswagen, they said, hey, let's put everything upside down and change everything. So if you remove this door panel, you will get access to nothing. Speaker maybe, right? Everything else has to be accessed actually with removing that door skin. This entire part has to be removed, right? To gain access to all these components, which normally in past or on different vehicles are always accessed from here, from behind the door panel. So as I said, be subscribed. I learned all of it on this door, right? You can see that perfectly works. And I will make sure I will film that repair without replacing anything, I will film it on the other door. 
So be subscribed, you don't miss that. Thank you for watching and have a great day, my friend.